Well, Canada has over 80 different pathways which you can use to move into the country. Well, the thing is, the pathways are not always open. Most of them are not always open, so they keep them closed. And when IRCC is ready to accept applications, then they open them. And they open them for a specific period of time and then they close again. And so if you intend to move to Canada through a specific pathway, you just have to wait until the system opens. And so, as we are making this video right now, IRCC is now accepting applications for caregiver pilot program. And so if you wish to move to Canada as a caregiver, then of course, keep watching. Hello everybody and welcome back to Accord TV. If you're checking in for the very first time, it's your mama Accord and yes, yes, yes. I am the immigration queen. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. Now, in today's video, like mentioned earlier, IRCC is now accepting applications for caregiver pilot program. So this is what we are saying. And this program is going to stay open only for six months. I know we are waiting for a video on how you can move to Luxembourg. But this one is urgent because the system is now open and you only have six months. So what does this mean? It means that if you take action, you can actually move to Canada in less than six months. So we are doing this video and then the next video will be moving to Luxembourg for my European brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And so on the 1st of January, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada began accepting applications for two caregiver pilot programs, the Home Child Care Provider Pilot and Home Support Worker Pilot. And this is for direct permanent residency category. These programs are specific for applicants who have experience in caregiving. So this is what we are seeing. You know, you may be wondering what caregiving is. Okay, I know you know, I know you know. But then, do you have evidence to show that you have been taking care of someone? Do you have evidence that you have been taking care of somebody's child? Can you get a recommendation from them? That's what you're talking about. And if you've been working in a home for a different family, are you able to prove it? Because what we are working with here is a proof. If you can prove it that you have been working as a caregiver for this period of time then you are good to go but if you have experience but you cannot prove it then it's about time you go back to that place or to those people whom you worked for and ask them to support you and give you the evidence that you need mm -hmm. you need to watch this video to the end because i'm also going to show you how you're going to make your application and move to Canada as a caregiver. So the price you need to pay is just about 10 minutes of your time and you're good to go. That's all. Both pilot programs were launched in 2019 and are set to expire in June. So you only have six months. So after you have watched this video and you do something about it, like I said, and I'll say it again, you can move to Canada in less than six months. But how can that happen? Only if you take action. In 2022, 1,100 caregivers became permanent residents of Kenya. <laughs> became permanent residents of Canada. And that was not only caregivers themselves. It was about caregivers and their family members. So 1,100 plus their family members. Assuming that one couple would probably have six children. Another one would probably have four, three. Those are many people. IRCC categorically encourages you and advises you to apply as soon as possible. The 2023 cap for online applicants in the home child care provider pilot was reached on April 14, 2023. So basically what that means is hmm, this program is open for six months, but as soon as they reach the cap, the number of people they want to apply, then they're going to close it. So now I hope you're getting the urgency, the urgency of which you, it is that urgent. Once they get enough applications, they're going to close it. But as it is right now, the system stays open for six months. But if they get the number they're looking for, even if it's within a month, they're going to close it. So it's very, very urgent. Please. Work experience for this category has always been two years. But now, beginning 2024, work experience requirement is just 12 months 
instead of 24. And of course, your work experience ought to be full time. And the department defines full time of work experience to be 30 hours a week. If it's less than 30 hours a week, then it is not considered as full-time. It has to be 30 hours a week for it to be considered as full-time. Please note that if you got your work experience as a student, then your work experience is not eligible. Other work experience requirements for candidates includes work experience that falls under National Occupational Classification Codes 4411 or 4412. IRCC notes that work experience must be in one of these jobs and it cannot be a mix of both jobs. The candidate's job needs to match the NOC job description and they must complete most of the main duties. Another requirement is that you have to show the proof of your language ability. How well can you speak English? Can you write it? Can you understand it? Can you communicate in English? Now we are talking about IELTS, the English test okay and you need to have a band of five band five so if you don't have the ielta certificate yet then you need to book urgently and take that test and make your application now this is when we start talking about time bird in december i talked a lot about getting ready for canadian immigration and one of the requirements was please if you can go for the ielts test go for it now this is what you are saying you need a band of five Canada needs to know if you can communicate in English because they're not about to admit people who are going to get into the country and start talking in sign language. That is not the idea. You must be able to speak the language. But if you have a disability, you are non-verbal, then that's a different case. But if you are a human being who can talk, then you have to be able to communicate in the language that is required. And so IELTS certificate of Band 5 is required of you. If you don't know or you're not sure where to go for the IELTS test, then you need to check out British Council in your country. Is it British Council? I'm going to make that video and have it posted as soon as it is humanly possible over here so you can follow through it. I'll show you how to make the application and how to book the date for the test, how to prepare for it, and just, just do it. You need to have one year Canadian post-secondary education or an equivalent of that. What you are saying here is you ought to have finished high school. And if you did not finish your high school in Canada, then you need to take your high school certificate for verification. That is when WES comes in. And at the moment, I think WES, they're trying their best to do the verifications in like two months. So you are time bad, time bad. You have WES to do and you have IELTS to deal with. And we're talking about six months. So you need to move fast. And if you have watched this video and you know someone else who could be interested in moving to Canada use through this pathway, then share the information with them. Don't wait until it is two months to go. You must also pass the admissibility test. They'll check for your background. Are you a criminal or are you a good person? And so they're going to require the police clearance certificate. They want to check your health. Are you healthy or do you have some terminal illness? So what you need to do is Check with your doctor. Go for physical body check something. If you have an issue or something that needs to be taken care of, then take care of it. And so you'll have no issues with admissibility. And they'll also check on security. Are you someone they should be fearful about or you are trustworthy? In the event that you do not qualify for this program, do not worry. Your next best option would be to become a temporary resident caregiver so that basically means that you'll go ahead and apply for temporary foreign worker program the tfwp and for you to ensure or make sure that this whole thing happens is you will need to find a job and when you find that job your employer will need to get a positive lmia and then you go ahead and apply for your work permit once you get your work permit and you start working then you know for sure you're on your way to becoming a permanent resident which is going to take about just two years and so having said that let's look at how you can get a job as a caregiver in canada i'm quickly going to walk you through the website how to find a job over there 
and i'm going to make the link to that website available in the description of this video do what you have to do on your part and let things just happen this website you'll see job search career planning labor market information hiring blah 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 all those what you need to do is search for a job and the job we are looking for over here we want to see caregiver location do you care about location or do you want it general overall wherever okay so i've just put in caregiver over there i'm not going to add where so i'll just say browse and so we say cook no caregiver and so from here we have family caregiver family caregiver all this or their many all right and so let's look at this one family caregiver you want to specifically go for new ones eh? because they have old postings but try as much as you can to go for new ones though most of the time these employers they don't remove their advertisements because they are still actively looking for people but i always suggest that you go for the new posting so this one was posted on the 4th of 2024 so family caregiver and so from here you view the full job posting on monster we we'll follow it through to monster and then this is what we have uh, about the opportunity workland presents this great career opportunity with one of our clients based in the beautiful quebec city area currently looking for caregivers to join a brand new team why should this opportunity interest you no mandatory overtime ability to work overtime when you want to reasonable workload compared to the healthcare network no burdensome and difficult cases to manage work for a leader in its field with multiple sites, many career opportunities, stability for employment within the same group versus placement agencies that constantly move you around, modern environment, recent residences located in the middle of nature with a large green spaces nearby and 15 minutes from downtown Quebec City, pleasant, friendly work atmosphere, be part of a family, a company that will take care of you, recognition of prior learning and work experience, good working conditions, group insurance, priority on health and safety at work. Then, of course, summary of the position, working as part of the care team. The caregiver will provide care and assistance to residents of autonomous and semi-autonomous seniors' homes, as well as accompany them in their daily activities and contribute to their well-being. Your duties and responsibilities will include, but not limited to, caregivers will be called upon to provide and or supervise, assist residents with their hygiene and comfort needs, ensure a presence with them in order to contribute to their recovery or to help them maintain their state of health while promoting their autonomy. Assist residents on a daily basis, assist the residents according to his her needs, feeding, hygiene, care installation, mobilization, disposal and dressing while respecting him her rhythm and simulating his her autonomy. Maintenance and cleaning of rooms and common areas when required in the care unit and according to the needs expressed by your, by your superior. Respond promptly and benevolently to call bells and residents' requests. Provide comfort and well-being care to residents within the limits of his or her competence. Propose and organize recreational activities for residents. Assist in the provision of care. Performs rounds of monitoring, follows work and care plans in the event of an emergency, administer first aid, performs all other related duties, that is in the in the provision of care requirements for this position. Okay, then skills and competencies, responds appropriately in emergency situations, be able to assess the needs and conditions of residents, promptly advise of any issues, observations that pose a risk to the safety of residents, customer focus and ability to interact with seniors, dedication and sense of responsibility, caring, strong listening skills, patience, respect, compassion and discretion. Okay, so that is just about it. You'll go through the website and navigate and search. If you're thinking about moving to Toronto, then you, uh, you narrow your search to toronto if you're thinking of manitoba then you narrow it down to just manitoba if you're thinking of british columbia then of course you narrow it, you search down to british columbia and you apply for jobs which are in the locations of the province where you want to go to because this website carries the whole you know the, the whole country and all provinces so you could land anywhere so if you don't care about where you'll be going then you can apply rapidly uh, to whatever location different ones and then whatever you land on then you go for that okay 
So if you have any question, be sure to comment below. Like I mentioned earlier, you're going to get the link to the website in the description of this video. If you have something that is pressing you're not sure about please just comment or if you choose you can as well send an email and we'll get back i will get back to you as soon as it is possible or joanne will respond to your email as soon as it is possible if you have watched this video to this far you have gotten value out of watching this video but you have really nothing to say then remember to leave for mama a red heart then of course i'll know that you are comfortable with the content that i am releasing however if you have watched this video again up to this point and you are not subscribed yet maybe this is the time you want to consider joining this amazing court tv community because they normally do it here and without forgetting we're keeping it positive vibes only and i am so looking forward to seeing you all in the next one